New advances in medicine are improving our lives almost every day, and one of the most exciting developments is the use of stem cells. Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical Cell Center is here to talk about the stem cell work done right here in North Texas. It's very exciting, and it's good, good to morning. see you. Good morning. Yeah, it's one of my really exciting things. So why does stem cell therapy have so much potential for so many different problems? Well, if you start to understand how the body heals, you can really understand why there's been so much excitement about stem cells. We can use this animation to kind of show if you if you cut your finger then what happens is a damaged cells release messengers called growth factors okay. that attracts in cells that first clean up the damage and then it attracts in stem cells which look around say what do we need to become they change into the type of cells our body needs skin cells fibrous tissue cells fibroblasts which produce the the healing and so all the healing occurs really from the stem cells so from the from the very beginning how are you able to obtain those stem cells well one of the things we like to make sure everybody understands because it's a big thing it's, a, it's appropriately controversial and it's, 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 we're not talking about embryonic stem cells right. we're not talking about stem cells from another person we're talking about getting your stem cells mm -hmm. and uh, we use fat you can use blood as well or bl bone marrow but you get about a thousand times more from a harvest from fat than you can get from bone marrow so that's how we get the fat we do a little bit of liposuction we process it for a few minutes and then at the end we have your stem cells that we can give back to you I think it's all fascinating what kind of problems are you investigating the use for stem cells well we, we're probably doing a lot of arthritis like arth osteoarthritis mm -hmm. we do a lot of knees shoulders and hips with really nice results we're also doing a lot of respiratory problems COPD mm -hmm. and we're actually doing some research on the COPD and seeing some really uh, really nice results we're very impressed with that at least early on in small numbers okay we're doing some of the inflammatory arthropathies like rheumatoid arthritis lupus Crohn's disease, some of those disorders. We're also doing neurologic disorders like Parkinson's disease. Uh, there's been some good results in stroke victims. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, there's even some work being done on spinal cord injuries Gosh. and work and uh, ALS and MS. So a lot of different disorders there. What about the cost? Well, the cost is all patient born. We, we, this is considered investigational, so it's not covered by insurance, and we aren't okay. working under a grant. So it is something that patients will have to call and talk about their problems. We can give them the, give them the pricing. I know this is something you're very passionate about, and the technology continues to grow. Yeah, and the, and the applications continue to grow, and we're learning a little bit more all the time about how to make it more and more effective. Mm -hmm. So the, in particular, we uh, are seeing a lot of patients that are able to avoid joint replacement mm. because they've come in and had stem cells injected into the joint and so the advantages to the patient not only are they don't have to have a, a, a replacement joint right. they don't have to go through the rehab process but the actual cost out of their pocket may actually be less if they ha come to the stem cells than the their mm. portion of the insurance payment for all of the things they have to go through to have say a knee replacement. It's just so interesting and it's wonderful to see how it can impact for the better so many different lives and we want to thank you for sharing with well, us. Thanks for having me. All right you can call 214-669-6948 to learn more about stem cell therapy and all those disorders being researched at Innovation Stem Cell Center. You can also log on to InnovationStemCellCenter.com for more information.